for a cooking pan, we are going to cook crispy catfish. So hopefully it's going to look like that. It'll be interesting because this is with kale farro salad and warm grape relish. We got some new toys. So, got a wooden spoon, warm blue apron that's made out of olive wood. And then we got an awesome cool little spatula here, it looks like a pin. And then we got a zester. So how do I wash this stuff? It's looking nice. I never washed lettuce. <laughs> Veggies and stuff is washed. Washed. Right. Washed. There's a little tip for distending kale in the kitchen that we like to use though. Whoa. Oh, right. I find it to be an almost meditative process. <laughs> Just sending all these greens. Let's see if I can do it. So I pinch this and just. I'm failing! Well, that one's already broken. This and. It's not working! I'm just gonna rip it off. You look like you're using different kale than we are, I would like to try. Go ahead and try. <laughs> see? <laughs> Stop jumping on my lap. That looked exciting on the video, and now I feel very disappointed. Now, roughly chop, what does that mean exactly? Oh, I need a knife. Now, roughly chop, just... Just big pieces. Oh, I almost got my nail. Squish. I'm still squishing. He, he does it in the video like this. to the pot over here. Now, de-stem the grapes. grapes. But this is stirring occasionally, you don't have to just sit there and beat it. Fine. You can go. Does this just sit, stay there like that? Yeah, it's it's all getting tossed around, you can see it. Is that rice? No. Yeah. What is it? It's farro. It's farro. I think it's like rice. It's a type of grain. This didn't look bad until we had to get it wet. But it'll be mixing with this, so I don't, I don't think it'll be that bad. What, where, where do you get kale at? Yeah. Like, this, where does it come from? Like, the ground or the ocean? The ground. For some reason, I thought it came from the ocean. It's not seaweed. So, farro, this is what it says. 
With a higher protein content than other wheat, farro is considered the ancestor to modern wheat and has been cultivated for millennia. It was the primary grain in the diet of ancient Egyptians and has been found in the tombs of the pharaohs. Oh, is that what they call it, pharaoh? Maybe. In ancient Rome, too, pharaoh was a staple. It fed the Roman legions and was occasionally even used as currency. Today it is celebrated in Italy for its nutty rich flavor and serves as a base for many Italian comfort food staples. There you have it. Fun fact of the day. I smell the garlic. The garlic's really strong. It probably won't be that bad. I've only had kale in like salads and stuff. I think I've had it cooked a couple times. But if it's like spinach. No, it's I don't like the flavor of it. But if it's cooking like this, cleanse it. Did it come out? Yes. Okay. Because you do it this way all the time. You need to do it like that. Yeah. Sounds better? Yeah. And then for this, you put the rosemary in a single layer across it. Oh my pot! Pot! Paper towel pot. Oh, that smells good. Teamwork. Never yeah. cook without a buddy. Spread it out into a single layer. I think we burnt the oil before we It can burn oil? Did you see how it was smoking before we added it? Drizzle with olive oil. I 
same salmon because you normally eat the salmon. I never have had catfish with him before. <laughs> Yours is not on the same way. I'm not sure about having a great film here. I never know where to start with anything. This is getting a little bit of everything. Let me try the catfish itself. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you put a grape in it too? Mm -hmm. Everything combined. I'm tasting a lot of lemon. I don't think I've ever cooked catfish. That's good. It's like the grapes give it a sweet taste. Yeah. I was picking up a lot of lemon. I don't know if that's from the kale mixture. See, I think the only thing with this one, when we put the grapes in there, they didn't say to reduce the heat, but I think we should. I think it burnt some grapes. I like this meal. We burnt the uh, the rosemary too. I really like this meal. Mm -hmm. It's really good. We tried some of the fried rosemary by itself. It's different. <laughs> I, I can't even know what the kale tastes like, really. Well, that's good, because I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> You're tasting it? No, I'm just not a fan of kale. I think as long as you eat it with this, then it's fine. I can say this. For any picky eaters out there, Blue Apron. I am yeah. the pickiest person in the entire world. We go out to eat, I eat the same thing from different places every time. But this is awesome. If you are picky, don't let that change your mind from trying this out. Look at Jingle compared to the other two dogs. Yep. Sit. Good. Good girl. I like this farro too. So it's, it's rice type. They said a type of wheat. Catfish is really easy. It didn't take any time at all to cook. So they have a, they have links for each individual meal. I'm gonna try to include those in the description. I don't know if it's actually gonna work. I don't know if you have to be signed up on Blue Apron. The links? Yeah. You can. Because huh? you can. You check them out? Well, I don't know about the links, but I did go on the app. Well, don't, you just I mean, said... links, app, same thing, right? I went on the app. No. So I typed in the little link at the bottom. It pops up free recipes from Blue Apron. But if I scroll under, it gives me the about. If you scroll under, it gives you the tips. I'm sure you probably can't click on them. Then it gives you all the ingredients of how to, what you need to cook. And then the instructions. Just gotta read under the black faded thing. Film. Film. I don't know how fair that is to Blue Apron or not, but if you can still read it, yeah. Or you can just join it. It is awesome. It's fun. The food gets shipped to you, so you don't have to actually go pick it out. I guess we'll continue and finish our meals and Another see you in the next Cooking with Kenny.